This happened today. So today's Saturday. It's a big chore day. I'm going to the grocery store. I'm going to this sewing store, to that sewing store. I love shopping for sewing stuff. And of course, I end up in Joanne Fabrics. Why do all these weird things happen to me in Joanne Fabrics? So I'm at the back of the store shopping for buttons and special tape. And am I going to get this doodad and this goodie? And, and oh, shoot. I forgot my coupon to get even a bigger discount on these pile of things I'm going to buy. So I'm making my way from the back of the store to the front of the store, and I'm cutting through the pattern section, the only place where there are chairs. And there's this man in a blue plaid shirt, and he's got his cell phone and his mask on. And as we pass, he's facing the back of the store. I'm So we, as I pass him, we're looking at each other, and he looks up at me, and I look at him, and maybe acknowledge each other a little bit, and then he goes back to his phone. And as I'm leaving the store to go to my car, there's also this older gentleman, we'll call him, and uh, he's like, he's probably over seven, and he looks good. I mean, he's got, he's got a white polo shirt on, he's got some nice jeans, and you could tell he just kind of carried himself like he was sort of an accomplished kind of guy, and talking with the, chatting up the, the, the help, the help girls, and you could just, he's like, you know, he looked and felt good about himself, you could tell. So I go into my car, dig around, find the coupons, and as I come back into the store, Mr. Plaid Man, who's tall and lanky, is going out of the store. Hmm, okay. I go to the very back of the store again, look around for buttons, look around for goodies, what more am I going to buy, make my way to the front of the store, cutting through the same exact pathway that I did through the pattern section, and Mr. Plaid is back there sitting on that same chair with his mask and with his phone. And we looked at each other, and it should have been like, slow-mo, looking at each other like, this is really weird, but it wasn't. He looked at me the same way, looked up, and looked back down, just like that. No different than the first time. And this time, as I le was leaving the store, as I, actually, as I was making my way to the cash register, Mr. Good-looking guy, good-looking older guy, is just on this cell phone, it's all speaker, and I go, he's just, uh, you can tell he's just like, oh, I'm a big, important guy. Well, the guy was a jackass, after all. So, <sighs> annoying guy. So I get through the cash register, go check out my goodies, use my coupons, get in my car, and I take a minute in the car, you know, just taking a rest between all my you know, stops that I'm about to make for the rest of the day, and uh, text my son. And I pull out of my parking spot, out the driveway, I'm ready to turn right, and turning left into the parking lot is Mr. Good-looking Old Guy. What? He was like, he was just there. He was maybe like three minutes ago, and his wife was in the car with him too. Weird. And the weirdness isn't even over. And it really, I'm like, this is, woo. So, yeah, I had to go get gas in my car. So I go to my favorite little gas station in the corner of, I, is it Shasta and Pine Street? And it's a beautiful day today. It's, it's warm, and there's a little breeze going, and it's kind of late afternoon. And I uh, go put my the gas guz no nozzle in my car, and I'm just looking up, and there's this liquid amber tree, kind of like an aspen, and all the leaves are the exact same shape and the exact same size, and they're all shaking in like one of only three different ways, and they're like they're illuminated by this by the sun that's kind of going down. It was like those that's they look really <laughs> weird and like out of this world. I have fallen into the matrix here, and I am stuck in it. Are we in the matrix? Today is day 22,360. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.